At six tonight, Target under fire again this week with more claims of racial profiling at a local store. Last week, a woman announced she was seeking legal action after allegedly being forced to strip to prove she did not steal a bathing suit. Today, another woman came forward accusing the same Target of manhandling her until she proved she didn't steal. 7 Action News reporter Bethany Moore spoke with these women and their lawyers today. So, Bethany, what are they saying now? Well, they say they don't want an apology from Target. They want policy change. Now, we do want to let you both know that we looked into both of these women and neither of them so far have filed a police report and this lawsuit has not yet been filed in court. Members of the community and supporters of the victims walked in wearing shirts with Target written on them. Various members of the community who wanted to just show that we, we will not be, we will not submit to being targets by Target. The latest alleged Target, Erica Anderson, who says back in November she was trying to leave the Southfield Target when she was stopped by a loss prevention officer and accused of stealing. She said he manhandled her, leaving bruises, and was only released after showing a supervisor her receipt. I was very agitated, um, hurt, confused. I had a lot of emotions going through my head. I, I just couldn't understand what was going on. Last week, Ashton A. Davis spoke out publicly, saying she had been racially profiled in May when she claims a loss prevention officer told her to take off her clothes to prove she didn't steal a bikini. I couldn't believe that this had happened to someone else at the same exact target. Lawyers Jasmine Rand and Maurice Davis say since last week, they have had more than six people reach out to them complaining about the Southfield target and more than 30 people with complaints nationwide about target discrimination. Um, I feel much better that I'm not standing alone on this. I'm very thankful for Erica coming up and speaking up and for whoever else has a story to tell. In regards to Ashton A's situation, Target released a statement saying they were sorry and have fired that team member. The lawyers say that's not enough. Sorry is a sorry word. We want to see some action. We want to see change in your policies. Now we reach out to Target regarding Erica Anderson's specific situation. They have not yet responded to us. We also want to let you know, so the lawyers say that they have not yet fall, uh, filed that lawsuit in court just yet. But they're right now in the process of just gathering information for future legal action. Reporting live, Bethany Moore, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Bethany.